or I guess they're playing some Mundo top lane into a Kale, and I'm gonna showcase you guys exactly on how you can carry with Mundo this patch. So this game we have Grasp, Demolish, Second Wind, Overgrowth, Approach, Velocity, and then we also have the Magical Footwear. We also have a Dorn Shield because we're playing into a, like a hard poke matchup. If you run into like a melee matchup and the guy does not have poke, you always want to go Dorn Blade. But if you play against like a ranged matchup or a melee matchup that has a lot of poke, that's where you go D Shield. This matchup is actually very good because Kale, as you guys know, like she is like mega broken late game but at the start of the match like she's not really that strong and this matchup is very very easy to win especially like once you uh once you make a lead against this guy um it's very hard to like uh fall behind the big sons i don't think this guy's expecting me to all end like this <laughs> i love how he's like trying not to get the autos this guy's is not expecting me to like walk in, like walking literally through an entire wave to try and wave in auto is beautiful. Against the Kale, you always want to play aggressive level 1. You do not want to like get for the level 2 by yourself. Like on that, you have like a hard winning matchup. That's when you want to like bounce the way back into you. It's quite a decent one. Like we can poke Kale under tower once we stack the wave. Like, let me show you what I'm talking about. She will have to go for the cannon here. Nearly hit the Q. Let's see which way. Nope. They have a Kha'Zix in the jungle, and I think that Kha'Zix is bathing top. So we'll see how this is going to go. I want to be looking down to, like, thin out the wave and, like, poke under tower. Like... You gotta play Mundo close to what you would do when you play Ilawi. Like, if you can get rid of the entire wave and, like, get her into, into like, an open spot, you can actually hit Qs all day for free. That's quite good, actually. I did hit him. I'm not sure how much damage I've done, but... Now I have the wave, like, pushing towards me. This is really good. Because now we can force this scale to walk up to me. And then I can just hit my autos for free. Look. An enemy has been slain. Now it's completely different. Of course the kale is trying to get the reset off. So I'm not going to let it hard push too hard against me. Because we are actually running, uh, we're running ignite here. So we gotta be a little careful with how we let that wave shove. Gotta make sure we thin it out enough here. I need to get that cannon down and then it's pretty much like all good. The only thing that Kayla wants is to reset the wave. That's literally it. Nice. We absolutely 100% refuse to let that KO like push this lane in. We do not want that to happen because what happens if you run into a teleport while you're running Ignite, the problem is that like she can get a teleport off and then she has basically like an item advantage and at that point she starts hard winning. But if you let that wave like push um, uh, into her instead and you like sort of like stack it up, then basically what happens is she will be unable to... Um, Hello, Kha'Zix. Um, she will be un unable to buy items. And you still get the resets off. That's like the benefit. I think Kha'Zix is still down here. Yeah. Still trying to gank the lane. <laughs> the Kha'Zix man. This guy's standing right behind him. So all I have to do right now, the only job I have is to have this wave make it so that it resets. But... Currently, I have problems with Kha'Zix here. So we'll see how this goes. Nice. Got some decent damage. Alright. Now all we have to do is shove this in. I'm... Probably going to cast R. The problem is that Kale will reach level 6 here. 
Apparently this guy's still up here. Hmm. I'm probably gonna die to this guy. Good chance I will. Apparently he's been camping the entire time. Hmm. Man, this guy's perma camping pretty hard. <laughs> Apparently the Ka6 was standing there for at least two minutes because Ka6 was like pathing from like the red buff. Uh, he was pathing from the red buff to blue side. You can see on his farm that he didn't go for the full clear after that anymore. And he decided to like stay in the trial bush or up here at least for the, like the next like two minutes. Like he's shown up like two minutes beforehand. He's shown up two minutes afterwards. He's shown up for so long that my jungler is actually ahead in XP. Has two kills. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a crazy long camp right there, man. To try and prevent me from like snowballing the matchup. All right. Sure. There's some junglers that truly dedicate themselves, I guess. Not bad, though. It actually did work out for him. Alright. No problem. I think I might get permacamped again. There's a, a huge possibility that I probably will. We'll see how that's gonna go. Let's put support down. I'm pretty sure that Cossacks is like full clearing from uh, bottom to like back top, I guess. Nice E hit. Um, what we're going to be building this game is the heart steel for sure. I want to get heart steel into probably Sunfire, but it really depends on how hard we're going to snowball the matchup. There's only one thing that I want to mention with it. We have a Jax top side. This guy probably doesn't have a ward as far as I've seen. All we have to do is just maintain it. Um, currently, we already have like a pretty massive lead over Kale because we've been non-stop playing it very, very, very aggressively. Um, this guy is running like 25 C as we already have like 58. So we're already doubling farm on this guy. Some good news. His ultimate should be down still. Nice. Good cues. This is very important because as of currently, we have the wave in a really, really, really healthy spot. And if we can keep her this low, then we can actually kill her under tower, probably. There you go. Put one point in E. Caustics apparently is top lane. That's some good valuable information. We also hit the proc here. She's still very low. If Kha'Zix decides to gank my lane right now, I can either go for the one versus two, or I can have Jax to like clean it up. And apparently he is actually here. So yeah, that does not surprise me. The Kha'Zix is camping top as suspected. Does not really surprise me anymore. Fortunately, E did not hit. But yeah, I'm fine with it. I need to like draw out Kale like out of that position so I can actually walk up to her. This is a very good position to be in because currently I can walk up out of the wave and then I can hit a free Q. And I think what I'm probably going to end up doing is push down that wave under tower and then probably try and get the reset off so I can buy my item because we're like 250 away from um, actually getting it. Nice. We cannot re lose any of these ones. Fortunately, I missed that one. We have no vision in the jungle, but to be really honest with you, I don't really care as much. I should be okay. Wow, that one doesn't hit. Oh, we baited. That's really good. 
Unfortunately, though, not getting the kill today. It sucks, but it is what it is. Okay. This guy is perma camping, like legit perma camping, bro. He's even falling behind in, in terms of the jungle. Like my jungler is actually getting ahead of this guy. That's how much he's camping my lane. Like, man, it's not worth it for him. Kale is not winning the matchup. Like I have like 87 CS. I'm very healthy with farm. This guy has like 32. He's got 2 billion ganks from Kha'Zix and is still behind. It's not working. And it will also not work now. <laughs> Actually very interesting, like... It's impressive how much the Kha'Zix is trying to gank my lane and just keeps failing to do so. It's sort of like, kind of like winning like two lanes at the same time, like sort of. It's actually kind of crazy. Forgot the wave like bouncing into me right now, which is really good. She does not have ultimate. Again, unfortunately, the kill's getting away because she plays place it. She plays it insanely safe. There we go. I need to hard shove because we have a Jax behind it. Look. Yep. And there we go. Nice. Now we pretty much have to reset this stuff. I kind of don't want to share the plating. It's actually really bad for my for me at least, but it's too late now. He's already autoing. I'm not going to let the wave die out first so that Kale is going to lose it. It's slightly more efficient. It's going to make the Kale fall behind a little bit more. Yeah. I want to make sure that most of it dies out. Yeah, there you go. I'm not going to wait any longer. We're going to head back here, so... Now here comes the very interesting part. So normally I would recommend going for a lot of magic resist in this game, but um, since we are currently like hard winning against Kale, we do not have to go for magic resist because they have a Kha'Zix, they have a Yasuo, they have a Caitlyn, right? It literally makes zero sense for me to go MR here. So if I go Sunfire into a Thormail, I'm going to get much more value out of this thing because Kale is like out of the game. Um, in fact, this guy's going Pickaxe as well. It turns out this guy's actually going AD, which is actually even better. That's not bad. Keep on chasing down. Thank you very much. Let's get this stuff. I think this guy's gonna go like Rage Blade Kale, so I'm assuming it's not gonna be like a full AD version. Probably not. That's gonna push on our tower. Now let's see if we can make a little play here as well. All right, we got him. Yep. And then we're gonna take the mid wave. Of course, he's gonna try and get this thing. Goodbye. And now we're gonna go top again. I think that blue is probably up, but I'm not gonna take it because it's taking too long. Now let's kill this guy here. I'm just gonna walk up. I will wait before I throw it so I can hit it better. Oh, 
I'm gonna kill this guy as well. Or oh, never mind, actually, this guy's way stronger than I thought. Apparently, already has like uh, static and BF sword. Okay, no problem. Um, we'll be fixing that. Let's go to armor. So now we're going to specifically build a Thormil, and Thormil is going to directly counter Yasu, as it was Cossacks and Caitlyn. I think these three are pretty much the main problem. As I said earlier, Kale is a really broken late game champion, but only if she's actually in the game. And this guy is clearly not like he's behind. We completely shut down the Kale. Like this guy's not going to make it back in the game like anytime soon. I'm pretty sure like in 20 minutes we can still uh, kill this guy. So it's not like going to be an issue for me. We're about to get free kills here. Thank you very much. Now let's walk up. Let's get the next upcoming wave. We're like 1000 away from the Thormill. Let's grab this thing. I think I might let the tower stay for what it is but first because I want the wave to like go down and then we rotate. Thank you very much. Let's go for this thing as well. Oh, I think we're about to get another catch. Nice sidestep. This guy needs the int. I'm gonna die for sure. <laughs> I think Yasu's gonna dash the like, 2 billion times. Well, at least I got like one catch. I would have died if I didn't do this. Okay. Um, the next thing that we're going to buy, uh, we can go multiple directions. We can go Titanic Hydra. Uh, we can also go for Stone Plate, but I think that Stone Plate this game, I think we can get it as like a final item. I think it's better if we go Titanic Hydra. Yeah. Yeah, let's actually do it. I'll take the HP for now. Or we can go pickaxe, that's also fine. Um, I'm gonna make a choice here. Pickaxe or giant spell? I think I like pickaxe more. Yeah, let's build it. Slightly more damage. Okay, let's run mid. We're gonna be going for another fight. I'm gonna try flanking them right behind them. We'll try it out. Jake is also spawning. Oh, I just need to hit another one. <laughs> yeah, I'm chilling, brother. <laughs> It's all good with me. I'm not dying anytime soon. Do not worry. Got a Thor mill. <laughs> well, Drake is up right now. I want to try and get the tower before they spawn. Because it opens up a little bit of the map here. I don't think he will jump. I don't think so. I need my passive back. Hmm. 
Nice catch. <laughs> I love the last hit of my Q. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, let's get that thing. The second tower also gives like insane amount of gold always. Keep that in mind. If you can get it, you absolutely should. But only if you're not only if you're not losing that much. Uh, yeah, we have the Yasu top lane taking tier 2 tower. I think it's more worth if we go for this tower. Because it opens up bot lane completely. It's worth more in my opinion. I'm gonna kill him real quick. Thank you. I'm probably gonna die. I can't Q, otherwise I'm gonna die too. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a dust blade. Yeah, that sucks. Let's go Titanic. So we can buy like one more item. We can go multiple directions. We can go for uh, Force of Nature, but I don't like Force of Nature. I like Spirit Visage way more because of the, the effect. We can also, um, we have another option here. We can go for Renduins, but we can also go for Stone Plate. And I think I like Stone Plate more. I think I can tank way more with it. Plus we have the Ability Haze, which I actually kind of like. Yeah, let's, let's actually build it. Let's go. This time, we're just going to push top. We're going to clean it up. Then afterwards, we're going to rotate for Drake because it spawns in like two min. 15. When, when a Drake spawns like in about like one or two minutes, you want to make sure you push top because then you can prepare top lane and then you can rotate. So after the next two waves, we will instantly rotate and try and flank them. This is probably where the game is going to end, by the way. It most likely is. They can't stop me. Like, if they try and fight me, I will kill them all. <laughs> I like this. This uh, reminds me of, like, what my previous Mundo games were like. It's, it's, actually, it's actually exactly the same. I just... Like, at this stage in the game, I just don't die anymore. No matter how hard they try. Look at my damage, like... Like, Mundo late game is actually, like, giga broken. If you can, if you can make this big of a lead, you just don't die anymore. Like, impossible. Hey, this is Mundo Top. Thanks so much for watching today's YouTube video, and I'll see you next time. Peace.